Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get um, custom themes on your Vita 3.52 or lower. Now if you're on firmware is 3.55 or higher, sadly to the date of this video, you are not able to um, install custom themes onto it. But if you are on 3.52 and lower, then you can um, follow this video. So first thing you want to do is get the app dot the database from your Vita. In order to, to, to do this, we're going to go on a, say Gmail, I usually use Gmail. And you're going to compose an email to yourself. So I'm going to do that. And I'm gonna, I usually name the subject um, getting app.db just so that I, I, I can find it. Now, you're going to need to copy and paste this thing right here as a link. Keyword link. Um, people don't usually do this and they mess up on this part. So yeah, you copy and make sure you find the, the, um, the link, insert link part in whatever email program you're using. I'm using Chrome, of course, I mean, Gmail, of course, so I'll go here, insert link, boom, copy, paste, click OK, then, and I'm going to send it to myself. All right, so now I'm going to switch over to Arvita, which will send us, so yeah, switch over to Arvita. All right, so um, once on your Vita, you're going to open up your email app, and in the email app, you're going to look for the email you just sent yourself, and it should open up a create a, a message box which you just type in your email again and subject it whatever you want and then send it off and which will go back to our computers um it's not that difficult so yeah Alright, so once that's all done and you're back on your computer, you're going to go find that app with DB email you just sent back to yourself. So, uh, let's just find it. Boom, there it is. And past this huge wall of ugly, useless text you don't need, you're going to see this and you're going to download it. Whoop, download. There it is. Now, let's move this somewhere um, to the side. You'll need it for later. Ignore that. All right. So once we did that, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to download the save game file from Metafire. I'll put the um, the link in the description. So yeah, you go to that, copy, paste, go down, and do. Hurry up! Hurry up! Whoa! Yes, yeah, so you're gonna go to, Met, gonna go to the Metafire, and then you're gonna download this custom theme save game. Boop, boop. Come on, yeah. Sorry, so, so slow internet. Ugh. Ads, and from there you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna transfer this custom themes thing somewhere. Boom, boom. I'm gonna put it right beside my app.db, cause I don't I feel like better than there. And then next thing we're gonna do is try and go find a, a theme we want. So I'm gonna go to this form. This is where I usually I go to find my um, themes. Let's see. Yep, Hack Informer, best website ever. All right. So actually, woo to the website. But yeah, you go down, and I'm gonna use this first one, the Black X XMB. Grab it. Grab the zip file. Woo woo. And we're and we're gonna download this zip file. Now, um, pay attention to the name, like this name right here. Pay close, you need that. You just remember that name, you're gonna really need it in the future. So yeah, you're gonna download it. Boom. Open that zip too. And put this right here. Now we're gonna put this inside the custom theme save game folder. Transfer in there. Um, and then from there, we're gonna go in it, the custom theme save folder again and move this into the themes. Alright, now that's just one step. Now we only have, I think we only have one more step after this.
Alright, so now what we want to do, since we now have our custom theme save game folder co complete, we're going to transfer this to our to our Vita. So to do that, let's set up, um, I use QM QMCA, personally. So, QMCA. Boom, open that up. Come on. Open up, open up. Sorry, take, it takes its time. Alright, and that's great. Close. Settings. You're gonna put this in your PSP's game save um, folder. So I'll go here. Boom. Okay, where are you? It's PS. Save data. In. And. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you place files in this destination. Boop. Alright, now once it's in your PSP's save um, folder, you're gonna transfer it to your Vita. So I'll switch over to that now. All right, so this part's simply um, transferring over that custom save game PSP save file over to your Vita. So it's going to into your um, your content manager and transfer it over. Alright, so when you're back on your computer, you're going to um, go to this website, which will have the PS Vita DB theme installer. Go down and install the current version. <coughs> Ooh, my internet is very slow. Sorry, let's give it a few. Wait, don't know you have this download? It's alright, I'll, I'll wait a little 10 seconds. Um, yeah, so you're going to um, instruct this to wherever you want, and you're going to just start it up. So, let me hurry this thing up. I'm going to open it. Every time. Ugh. Yeah, so you're going to open it up. And when you open it, you're going to extract these two things. And I'll put this here. I'm putting it on my desktop, personally. And you're gonna open up the the ex, ex, ex executable. All right. So once this is open, the first thing you're gonna want to do is you know where you put your app dot database. Yeah, you're gonna um click here, open, and direct it to where it it it, it is. So mine was on my desktop. There it is. Boom boom. All right. Now the title can be whatever you want. I'm naming it after the actual name of my theme. And you can ignore this. Content version, 100. Type, 100. Size, just do it zero, unless you want to calculate it, but it doesn't really matter. Now here comes the most important parts. Um, so I'm gonna leave this, this stuff in the description, don't worry. So I'm gonna copy this, boom, boom. All right, so this part here has to be the actual name of the theme. So if I do not remember, let me go find where I installed it. I uh, settings. Let me go find the PS save file. Right, PS save file. Boom. Custom themes. Themes. Now it has to be this name right here. So I'm gonna copy it. Copy. Boom. Boom. Here. Copy. Now there you go. And then the file path is gonna be this. The package image file path. This preview path, this. Make sure I copy that properly. It's going to be this. Put that in, and then put that in. Boom, boom. Create a um, backup while writing. I suggest you do create a backup, and you're going to click right. You're going to click process. Yes. Okay, now you're gonna go back to where your app DB is, and it should be now be um, it should not have been written to. Don't worry, it's written to. So you're gonna grab your app DB, right? And then 
All right, so you're gonna grab your app DB and you're gonna rename it completely. Like you're gonna take out away the extension too. And we need to name it hashtag zero. Boom. And now we're gonna make an email to ourselves again. So let's grab Gmail. Close all these things. Waiting on Gmail. And we're gonna compose a letter to ourselves again. Compose, send to ourself. Boom. Um, add the attachment. And now the subject has to be this. I'll, I'll put it in the description. Copy, paste, click, and then just send it to ourself. And from here, all we need to do is go on the Vita, and we should be done. All right, so this is the last step. Once you're on your um, Vita, you're gonna open up the email app, find the email you just sent to yourself with that extension, and click on the photo icon. Now, um, it's gonna tell you that it couldn't open the image. That's okay, do not click okay though. Do not click okay. You're gonna close the email app, and then restart your Vita. Once you restart your Vita, um, you're gonna go into your settings, go into themes, and you should see, see the custom theme you just installed onto your Vita. And so, yeah, there, you just click on it, and encourage you, congratulations, you now have a custom theme. Now, this is temporary, so say your Vita rebuilds database, then um, it will you will lose the custom theme and have to restart from the app database part. But seeing how that only happens if you force it to or you update your Vita, you shouldn't have any problems. If the video helped you, please um, like. Also, if you have any problems, comment. And if you could, it would be nice if you could subscribe too. I'm aiming for 100 so that I can finally just change my name. Because just the writing is kind of um, etchy. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.